Howdy folks, it's your old pal Magnus Booner. If you like beer, food, travel, and the outdoors, smack that subscribe button for me so you don't miss any of my silly videos. In this video, we're going to be doing a recipe called Funeral Potatoes, so let's get started. So originally, I was going to cook this for you at the campfire um, in a Dutch oven, but we are in the middle of a quarantine because there's a fucking worldwide pandemic. I sincerely hope you are all able to work from home and are still gainfully employed, and um, I also hope none of you need to make this recipe and take it to a funeral. Why are these called funeral potatoes? My friend Pearl, she, uh, she referred to them one time I was eating this dish in Eastern Washington, she referred to these as funeral potatoes, and I thought, well, that's a screwed up name for a dish, and I have a dark sense of humor, so that really resonated with me. We're going to be using these dehydrated Idahoian, hmm? we're going to be using these dehydrated Idaho potatoes. We're going to use two boxes. So the first thing we need to do is hydrate these. Well, since we're in the middle of a pandemic for a coronavirus, before we go any further, there's something I must do. That's better. Okay, we need to get these um, hydrated, so we gotta fill the wine with a minimum of 120 degree Fahrenheit water. Well, that's hot. I get these at my local Costco store. So these need to steep for 12 minutes. All right, while we are waiting on these potatoes to hydrate, we're gonna prep some ingredients. But before we do that, this is an outdoor cooking video, right? So check out my friends at Santium Outdoors. We need to melt the stick of butter. Well, since we're outside by a campfire, we might as well just do it in this Dutch oven. Now you can also make this in a 9 by 13 uh, Pyrex baking dish if you have one of those, which I don't, but I have a Dutch oven. We'll just toss that in there and put a little heat on it. I just set that on the fire, which kind of looks like my range top a little bit. Alright, these are ready to drain. Well, look at that. Not much to drain out of there. Okay, those are hydrated. No water at all coming out. So the original recipe calls for two cups of crushed cornflakes. Well, I thought I would use these flaming Hot Crunchy Cheetos because I'm kind of a pervert like that. Oh! These are delicious. So this will be our crunchy, spicy topping on top of this when we're all done. All right, we crunch those up about like that. I'm guessing I'll probably want to wash my hands before I pleasure myself. All right, now that my hands are washed, I'll move on to pleasuring myself. And I'll pleasure myself by making this epic meal. All right, well, I can tell by the way that's popping that uh, that butter is nice and melty. And since this is an outdoor cooking video, it's going to be easiest just to assemble everything right here in this uh, Dutch oven. So this is a pretty simple recipe. We, of course, need one can of cream of chicken soup. I, I love this part of the recipe because when I was growing up back in the 80s, there was a lot of what I call semi-homemade, pseudo-homemade. Back in those days, there were a lot of casserole-type recipes that used a can of cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of celery, some kind of Campbell's soup. And so that makes me feel warm and fuzzy like when I was growing up. You're going to want the full fat kind, full salt kind for this because salt and fat's important. This is not health food. All right, and the recipe calls for two cups of cheese, 
but you know how that goes. You can always use more. One of these bags, eight ounces from the Tillamook Creamery, is exactly two cups. If I was doing this in forest camping, well, it would make sense to stop there, but I'm going to mix it in and see if I want to add more, because I'm kinky like that. So this is just one teaspoon of good old kosher salt, one teaspoon of good old onion powder, fresh ground black pepper. Things about potatoes that I know for certain is it's really hard to have too much salt on a potato and it's really hard to have too much fresh ground black pepper on anything and then you find out your pepper mill is completely empty when you're trying to shoot a video and now you got to stop and fill her up. Alright, that's full. And I only have a couple of peppercorns kicking around the floor of my freshly swept kitchen. Now we're just going to mix this up. Executive decision. We're adding more cheese. We're going to call that three cups, which would make it 12 ounces. Oh yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Hey, if any of you hot ladies are, um, watching this video and you uh, see me in here making shit and being awesome and you want to quarantine and chill you uh you just email me right here at magnus t boner at gmail.com and we'll, uh, we'll have some cheesy potatoes together so we'll smooth it out as much as we can i suspect when it goes in that oven that'll uh level it up a little bit on its own We'll just spread those around. All right. We'll put a cover on this and bake it for about an hour. Well, those Cheetos are good. It's time to uncover that so we can crisp up the top. That is all bubbly. Hey Siri, set that timer for 15 minutes, baby. Your timer is set for 15 minutes. I think we better let that rest just a minute before we try to dish any up. What do you think? I'll tell you what I think. I think I should have used this whole bag of Cheetos for that topping. Mmm. That was delicious. But I got a proper Pilsner now. Let's give this a go. Mmm. Mmm. The edges are so crispy and delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The spice of those Cheetos really brings us all together. And I'll tell you, the golden deliciousness where that touched the cast iron is amazing. My God, I'm in fat kid heaven. I hope that you all don't have any funerals to go to as a result of this pandemic. And uh, hopefully you'll just be making funeral potatoes because you want to. I've got my Instagram handle, and I've got my Facebook, and my Twitter handle all at the bottom of the screen. And here, here's my email. And uh, y'all take care of yourselves. We'll be bringing you another epic video real soon.